How hot does my engine oil get in my motorbike? Revelator Elf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Elf. So, quick video. I'm going to be seeing how hot does my engine oil get on my uh, M8 Softail here, my Harley Davidson. Right, uh, I've got one of these uh, temperature probes, one of these laser things, uh, but I've also got a, a probe attachment to it as well. So, I'm going to be doing a surface uh, temperature test and then also an engine oil temperature test uh, it's not exactly scientific i know there's a lot of calibration issues with this but i'm using the same instrument so we'll, we'll see how we go now you could just take the bike out for a ride of course and get the engine oil temperature up to that 93 degrees celsius or 199.3 degrees fahrenheit uh, but i'm just gonna let it idle and see how long it takes anyway it's winter here in the uk so uh, thanks very much to kai for sending me uh, this uh, uh, woolly hat. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, although it's winter, it's relatively mild today. It's only about six or seven degrees. Uh, I've done a quick surface temperature check on the uh, the bike, and it's uh, just over freezing. It's about 0.3 to 0.4, which is hardly unsurprising. Okay, um, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give a quick reading and see how we go. Yeah, my uh, garage thermometer is actually saying 8.2, so slightly warmer in here uh, than outdoors. But as I say, seven or eight degrees that's what we're at right first of all let me do a surface check and it's actually got up to 2.3 degrees um so it's just been out in the uh, open air a little bit now so i think it's warmed up i think it's actually colder in the garage here overnight anyway uh so that is the surface temperature uh now let's see about this uh, oil and see how cold it is okay so that is telling me it's just 1.9 degrees uh, celsius Right, that's the starting point. Okay, let's just see how long it takes uh, for it to get up to that uh, that hotter temperature. Okay, it's 11.07 now. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, five minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. Okay, so at 15 minutes, the heads have reached 100 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna turn off the engine now and measure the oil temperature. Okay, so a uh, bit of an odd reading there so basically the bike after about 15 minutes the engine heads uh, got to just over 100 degrees uh, celsius uh, which is in the kind of operating range of that engine oil temperature uh, but actually when the engine oil gets back to the uh, reservoir it's actually very hard to measure this isn't uh, picking up the probe i mean the probe is working correctly uh, because i've tested it on other things but uh, the engine oil seems to cool down really quickly when it comes back to the reservoir. Uh, so I was only getting mid-twenties there, so I don't think that's right at all. Okay, so it takes about 15 minutes for the engine to reach that operating temperature, about 93 degrees Celsius, which is 199.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so mine it got up to 100. Yes, you could argue that this isn't exactly the most accurate, uh, and I'll take that on board as well. Um, the engine oil, I said I couldn't really get a, an accurate reading there so lots of people do send me emails about engine temperatures and oil temperature readings and I think this way isn't the best way to do it in all fairness but I thought it might give you a better idea of how long it takes for the engine to heat up and have that operating temperature as i say so i think if you go off the cylinder head temperature of uh, 93 degrees celsius 199.3 uh, fahrenheit that's basically where you want your engine oil to be uh, operating at before you start doing uh, any of your service items okay anyway right let me see what else i can test uh, with my laser gun thing don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, and check out the website revelatorup.com. Ta-da!